is to build a relationship. Again, we're saying, pray with your mate. And how about this? Staying in love with your mate. How's that? Uh, romance your way. Somebody said the worst thing that happens to couples often is they court so much when they're courting and dating each other, then they get married. Ouch, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Like, come on. Like, the honeymoon should go on. Ideally, the honeymoon should go on. Yeah? You say, well, what's the big deal of, uh, like, romance? Is What is romance got to do with leading a family spiritually? I thought this was all about growing a family, right? What is romance got to do? Everything. Listen carefully. To lead a family spiritually, a husband and wife need to be a team. Right? How much teamwork will there be if the relationship between mom and dad is strained? Sorry, strained? Or just plain boring? But if mom and dad are great friends, if they work like a team together, well, then we can see fantastic progress in the home. Yeah? But mom and dad don't need to neglect the relationship. Many times, many of us have come, gone and seen homes where the husband and wife are struggling. They're fighting so much. There's no time to look after the family. And the kids just, without any guidance, just drift. And what's gone wrong? You know, somehow, mom and dad, it's not like they don't love each other. It's just they haven't built their relationship together. I can tell you without, without, without a doubt, when they first got married, they were absolutely in love with each other. So what happened? Somehow they let the relationship cool. They got into the details of life. They're raising kids, the pressures, the job. And they forgot that I married you because I love you. And I want to give you some ideas that we do in our own marriage. Yeah. One of the things we do as a, as a couple is we set aside a day in the week literally, to go out and spend an evening together. It's like a date time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think a couple needs to date each other after they get married. Do you hear what I said? Where did dating go? Where did, that, where did the coach go? Where did the wooing go? Yeah, so Mondays is our family day out. If you call me on Mondays, chances are you won't get me. <laughs> Another thing we do often as a couple is we, we go away for getaways. Twice a year... We just, still the family will go out. I like at least five, six days. It takes me one day to unwind. And so, just go away as a family. So we finally, as family, get together. And more, we, we just we just came back from one, which is a two-day one last week. We hadn't met for a long time. And Andrew was with us, and we had the time of our lives as family. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes, what is romance? It's not about the music you're listening to. It's about the fact that you have daily reminders of love. Daily reminders of love. If I come home one day, and sometimes I have surprised my wife, and I get some roses for her. It's not a birthday, and it's not a wedding anniversary. It's not any of those things. And I just get it back for her, and she'd go, I love to hear her say, hi. And she'd protest about it, but she really loves it. <laughs> And you know what? Those kind of things tell her that I love her. She will do many things for me, and her way to express it is to make me a great meal and do those little things every day, every day, every day. Don't, don't let marriage take the romance out of your relationship. You understand that?